Hey guys, Dougie Douglas here, back with another video. Today's video, we're going to be going over how to replace a faulty ECM with an 01 to 05 Honda Civic. So most people don't know if the ECM is faulty or not. We're going to go over how to do, like how do you figure that out and everything. So my car personally, I got an 02 Honda Civic and my car recently started going into lip mode. If you don't know what lip mode look like, I'm gonna show you. I'm in the passenger seat, so we're just gonna have to see. So you put the key in, and then you turn the ignition, and you're gonna see it's clicking, and then the RPM gauge is, is dropping and, and raising, and it, eventually the RPM gauge is just gonna cut out. Also, mine's the, the basically hot, the heat, the basically thermostat cut out too sometimes. But as you can see, it's on right now. And if you heard a clicking, it's this blue box relay right here. All of this is behind the glove box. So for you to get behind the glove box, these these two clips like this. And it's gonna be plugged in like that. The only thing you gotta do is from the inside, just push them out and then you know wiggle them out, and then the glove box drops down like this. But yeah, so we gotta replace the ECM. Some people call it ECU, ECM, and this car modular basically is different with letters. Um, as you can see, my car is a, a automatic, and my ECM is right here. It's in the back of everything, basically. And basically, what's going on is there's a miscommunication between the relay and the ECM, and the relay is trying to tell the ECM to do something, and the ECM isn't doing it. So all these bolts down here to remove, they're all quarter inches, so you're going to need quarter inch drives. Specifically, they're a, let me check, if I'm positive it's a, a 8, yeah, specifically, they're a, oh, let me, let me, specifically, yeah, you can't focus on this, but basically it's an 8, and you just, you know, you basically slowly, as you go, you're going to do this all for all the bolts. So I removed the bolts. Reasons I did it, the relay is connected to the back of this panel and there's an underbelly, but I did it so I could have a little bit more space with this. So next I'm gonna remove the, um, this is my personal thing. If you don't, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. I'm gonna remove this piece right here, but I'm gonna move the bracket so I can drop it down. So it's over here. What I end up doing just to make sure the EC work before I even like fully plug in anything is I fully unplug the top plugs and plugged it into the new one. The order is gonna be, it's gonna be top white, then black, then the other white, and then it's gonna be like a grayish color. It might vary per car. And how I got to do that was the bottom of the glove box, like straight looking from under it, there's gonna be two screws. That's how you get rid of the glove box. And then you can pull out the plastic piece. There's like two lines. You can either go at the back and unscrew it or do what I did. I just pulled it and I ended up breaking one of the tabs, but it wasn't that big of a deal to me. And then under here, to get to the ignition, you're gonna unscrew three screws. There's gonna be one here in this hole, one in this hole, and one in this hole. I'm doing that now, as you can see, it's loose because I already got two of them out. And I'll get right back to you. So let me clear it up for you, okay. So after you, there's gonna be the plastic piece like this, you plop that up, and then down here after you get the screws off, you're gonna drop this stick down. So as you can see, these tabs are just, you basically squeeze on both sides and pull out. The hardest one to pull out would be this brown one right here. You gotta like push something in and then have something wedge it out because it's actually a tight seating. And it follows the same plug and play here. But now I'm gonna unscrew this piece off and drop it so it's easier to, because the plugs are kind of, you know, short and tight to where they plug into. I also remove this top clip is at the top by the top of the cluster. Because it's going to be in the way of the two, like, basically bolts you got to pull out. So I have everything, like, Frankensteined up just to show in this test drive that's working perfectly fine. So I'm going to come to a complete stop. All the gauges are working. And then... I'm obviously driving slow because I got all the tools and stuff just around me. But yeah, so as you can see, it's driving perfectly fine. I didn't have it fully like set up in the spots yet, but then I'm gonna go back and do that. 
and yeah just to prove it works so that's your problem you just gotta plug and play fix it and yeah